Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you are welcome to the short word for today's audio daily devotion. You are welcome to the word of God from the short word for today. This is the audio narration of the written short word for today's daily devotion, published daily and sent to our subscribers. If you are here for the first time, I will be glad if you could subscribe and click the bell icon to receive our notification when we post a new video. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Please don't forget to share this video with your loved ones, family, friends and social network. I want to thank you for sharing. Our mission is to deliver God's word in spirit and truth. Please don't give up my friend, brother and sister. Just fight a little longer. It's all worth it in the end. But when you have nobody to turn to, hold on and God will find you. I remember when I was hanging on by a thread. I hope against hope. I was only clinging to prayers. Every breath is like a battle to stay alive. I feel like I did not come prepared. I can see death knocking on the front door. Pain creeping through the back and fear crawling through the windows. There was nothing more I could do, so I waited for them to attack. Lots of people tried to encourage me, but they don't know the battle that I face because I am smiling in everyone's face, but I am crying when they leave the room. They don't understand what I am going through. I had to fight a little longer, hang on there and keep holding on. God turned up, but it looks like it took ages. I can celebrate the fact he turned up. I refused to give up because I knew God refused to give up on me. So hold on, don't give up, God will find you. The affirmation for this week's short word for today, I can move mountains because I have faith. Today's title for the short word for today's series is The Power of the Seed, Part 1 of 7. All Bible quotations are from the King James Version unless otherwise stated. This week's Bible verse is from the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 20. Quote, And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith, as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove ends to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Unquote. The incredible power of the seed was described by Jesus when he said, You need a mustard seed sized faith to move and remove mountains. You don't need a mango seed sized faith for the word of God to work for you. Faith is not working out for you because of your unbelief. Unbelief is a stumbling block you must identify and remove. When you don't believe, no amount of prayer and fasting will materialize your expectations. When you have faith, you don't have to worry about God's word coming to pass. Your duty is to believe as you speak the word. It is God's responsibility and obligation to stand behind his word to perform it. The seed is not about now, this very moment. Right now, the seed may look valueless to you because you lack knowledge of the potential in the seed. The seed contains a tree that you are not seeing. It includes millions of fruits that you can't see because you are looking at the seed and not the potential contained in the seed. If we look at the definition of potential, it means the strengths, resources and capacity. Everything is possible in the seed. Everything you need is in the seed. Please don't eat your seed. Sow it and reap bountifully. The word of God is the seed. There is potential in the world. Everything you need is in the world. The world creates all things. All things created by the world belong to the world. 
the world is not going to have these things. The world made them for you. To have everything that belongs to the world, the world should be near you, even in your heart and mind. The world doesn't need to be enormous to perform in your life. Even when it is small as a mustard seed, it can generate faith that can remove mountains. You take care of the sowing, and God will take care of the growing. We have reached the end of part one of the Sure Word Audio Devotion series titled The Power of the Seed. Welcome to the Sure Word Capsule. A capsule is a tiny tube holding powdered or liquid medicine which you swallow. Capsules are easier to swallow. Capsules are proper when you want to be sure that you are absorbing all the ingredients or want to spike your bloodstream with a specific kind of ingredient. The Sure Word Capsule is the medicine for your deliverance, protection, healing, prosperity, and safety. You take this capsule by constantly confessing the Word of God. I would like you to confess this at least once, twice, or three times a day. Whatever you are going through, this Word will help you. You will be blessed if you start with me and repeat every word that I confess. To avoid gaps in this recording, I will join you in repeating the short word capsule. Please confess after me. I will never be abandoned by God. I will never be abandoned by God. God has a plan for me. God has a plan for me. And I take comfort in His plan. And I take comfort in His plan. God has given me the strength. God has given me the strength to overcome all my challenges in life, to overcome all my challenges in life. I put my faith and trust in the word of God. I put my faith and trust in the word of God to guide me in my most difficult times, to guide me in my most difficult times. I am an open channel. I am an open channel through which prosperity flows, through which prosperity flows. I am grateful for a complete and prosperous life. I am grateful for a complete and prosperous life. I anticipate God's goodness. I anticipate God's goodness. God is my unfailing source. God is my unfailing source. I open myself to the divine flow. I open myself to the divine flow of goodness, ideas, and substance of goodness, ideas, and substance. This is the day the Lord has made. This is the day the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. The Lord is my refuge and my strength. The Lord is my refuge and my strength. And he has been an ever-present help in trouble. And he has been an ever-present help in trouble. It's okay to take one day at a time. It's okay to take one day at a time. Today, I don't need to worry about tomorrow. Today, I don't need to worry about tomorrow. It's okay to ask others for help, including Jesus. It's okay to ask others for help, including Jesus. All moments of anxiety will pass. All moments of anxiety will pass. I just have to remember to breathe. I just have to remember to breathe. I must remember that my life is a gift. I must remember that my life is a gift. That my health is a blessing. That my health is a blessing. That today is a new day. That today is a new day. Filled with incredible potential. Filled with incredible potential. That I have the capacity. That I have the capacity to bring something wholly new, to bring something wholly new and unique and good into this world, and unique and good into this world. I refuse to be negative. I refuse to be negative because I am positive. Because I am positive. I have faith in God. I have faith in God. I have faith in the Word of God. I have faith in the Word of God. Everything is working in my favor. 
everything is working in my favor because God had already because God had already turned things around turned things around to work in my favor to work in my favor I receive total healing and liberation I receive total healing and liberation I am free from sickness and disease I am free from sickness and disease I rise above every challenge in my life I rise above every challenge in my life I am strong because I am strong because the joy of the Lord is my strength the joy of the Lord is my strength thank you Lord for your blessings thank you Lord for your blessings thank you Lord for your healing thank you Lord for your healing thank you Lord for your grace and mercy thank you Lord for your grace and mercy in Jesus name Amen in Jesus name Amen we have reached the end of the sure word audio devotion and the declaration of the sure word capsule please visit www.thesureword.org.uk for more capsules tailored to meet your specific needs. You can also request a sure word capsule to be created for any challenge you are experiencing. Thank you for listening and confessing along. Please don't forget to share this audio devotion. You have been inspired, motivated, encouraged and empowered to become the person God created you to be. For more encouraging words of faith, inspiration, and the resources to overcome your challenges, subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to receive instant notification anytime we publish a new video. You will be the head and not the tail. You will rise above your challenges because you are more than a conqueror. Thank you. Have a gorgeous day. God bless you.